What's up guys, Balmut here. So the new Ninja Turtles game is just out and I've published a both a review and a combat guide for you. I really recommend that you check that combat guide out because it's really gonna help you out. So I'm gonna leave the link for it on the card right now. But this isn't exactly what I wanna discuss today. Because you see, as soon, you know, we all knew that we would be getting a six player mode for Ninja Turtles, an online six player mode. Now, uh, there's a difference between knowing something and witnessing it in front of you. And as soon as I booted up Shredder's Revenge, uh, the first thing I did, of course, was go for online. And when I played that game with six players on screen, of course, it was complete mayhem, it was complete madness, it was awesome, uh, a little bit hectic, but, you know, still very fun. But I kept on thinking, what does this represent? for Streets of Rage 4. You know, are we gonna get a future update so we can play as four players still in Streets of Rage 4 or should we call it Streets of Rage 4.5 because, you know, with Mr. X's Nightmare that game has pretty much become something else. Not quite SOR 5, but definitely not SOR 4. Or, are we gonna get that online functionality of being able to play as four players at the same time on Streets of Rage 5, because of course I have absolutely no grounds to make this affirmation, but I have a very good gut feeling that as soon as Streets of Rage 4 begin getting all of its positive reception that Dot Emu, Lizard Cube and Guard Crush Kings uh, must have immediately started at least brainstorming how Streets of Rage 5 was going to be like. And this whole ordeal actually sprung my mind into thinking about Streets of Rage 5 itself. Because like I've said many, many times, you know, if you've been around with me on this channel, first of all, thank you. And uh, second then, you know, that I hold Streets of Rage 4 in the highest regard in terms of a beat-em-up. To me, is the ultimate beat-em-up game. So, you know, it, it leaves me wondering what's in store for this franchise. And uh, just a couple of days ago, we had the announcement of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you know, which is going to be the sequel to Final Fantasy VII Remake. And uh, we were all surprised, of course, you know, we were thinking that we'd only be able to play the second part of Final Fantasy VII's remake in, uh, you know, about 2075 or something like that. But no, Final Fantasy Rebirth is dropping next year, so as soon as they finished up the first part of the remake, they began working on the second one. And, uh, of course, this, you know, like I said, it makes me wonder, how far are they into Streets of Rage 5? Because, of course, they won't usually start showing things off, you know, at the very early days, during the inception days of a project. And there's also the fact that many developers will choose not to exactly disclose anything about an ongoing project, uh, at least until, you know, very reasonably close to its release date, just like it was with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We were all thinking that, you know, it was going to be episodic, there were talks about it being episodic and not a full game, and to be honest, that got us uh, very scared for the future of the franchise, you know, are they going to bark this up? But fortunately, you know, uh, they came to their senses and it's coming out next year. So let me know your comments, you know, your impressions, your thoughts on what could be in store for Streets of Rage 5. Are we getting a 4 player online co-op still in 4? Or is that gonna be left for 5? Because now they surely know how to do it. So this was Balma speaking to you and I'll see you next time. Later.